Hey guys, welcome back to another video of my modded Minecraft Let's Play series. And in today's episode, hopefully, if everything goes to plan, what am I saying? Nothing ever goes to plan. I am going to try to go to another, di another dimension. It's quite a simple one, and it's one that's been in the pack from the start. And it's at. Ooh, I forget the name of it sometimes. Easiest way to find out. And then it's. There we go. Aroma. It's only a small pack, but it does work. So, I need stone bricks. So, I'm going to quickly smelt that all up. And I'll join you back in a minute. And we're back. Hopefully, yep, almost done with the stone smelting, and there we go. So, to make this tool, 12, 16 stone bricks, and then 17, 14, 15, 16, we need a stone pick a stick and a flint and steel. So the sticks are a bit of chest. There they are. But going through the chests I have no iron. So how do I combat this? Nice one. So, let's head into here. And you can see I've already got six ingots of an aluminium brass. We're going to shift these in. And then this is going to smelt up. While that is doing that, I am going to come in here and I'm going to cover a few things. Not a lot. Now I'm just going to quickly make myself a stack of torches and I am going to quite literally. just light up the area a bit to know that there's going to be no mob spawns if I press F7 you can't see anything just yet I come around the corner and we see these squares or crosses if I press F7 again they disappear this is a light level indicator which tells me where I need to place torches to make sure no mobs spawn. In caves and dark places, which are covered, will be red. If it's at day they won't spawn, it's yellow. But if it's in a cave, it will be red no matter what time of day or night it is. Because that it's dark, the light level is low enough for mobs to spawn. For example, on top of the smell tray, I can just chuck a torch there, there, there. Switch the iron to the bottom because that's going to be quite useful. And just for quickness, since it's nine, I'm just going to cast it into a block. And over here, I'm going 
going to start smoking all of this and it's just going to keep the tank filled full of lava so one I can withdraw out of there but when I have a better production up it'll be a lot easier and a lot quicker so since the iron block is done let's make this multi tool and let's make this portal so the recipe same bricks four stone as you saw this tool requires a flint and steel flint and steel you can do it anyway two stone bricks the stone pickaxe and we get the mining tool now you need the rest of these all 14 to make the portal frame then with the portal frame let's come here just a simple portal so four on the bottom Ooh, misplaced block and it's as simple as that <laughs> this has still got five uses so we'll I'll just shift click all the resources I do not need at the time being into this chest and if I click this as well I am going to make an item that is yet to be featured so it requires a chest and 8 iron and since I have the resources, I'm going to take it up to the cold. So, the mod is called Iron Chest. And you can upgrade it from wood to iron, copper, whatever level you want. But the max is diamond, which requires six glass, two diamonds, and a gold chest. Very useful in my opinion. So, as you can see, it's not like a normal portal. You stand in it, nothing happens until you press shift, which then takes you to the bio, well, this world, I should say. It's forever day no mob spawn and it's the only way to really describe it is it's completely flat so if you've ever played created minecraft vroom. so like I said if you've ever played just creative flatboard mine minecraft just pure vanilla minecraft you will know what this looks like so to begin off with you can get peaceful mobs you can get ores which that is a tinker's ore I'm going to come slightly away from the portal you can already see I'm loading more animals etc and I also get to see like certain blocks so we've got sugar cane so on and so forth but the main thing you're looking for well I'm looking for I should say is a cave entrance 
probably not going to be lucky and find one, but if I quickly press J, you got a cave here, and by the looks of things, a few cave entrances here and there. So I'm going to head over to them, see what they have to offer. Oh, already we got a cave. So. Over this way a bit more. We have another cave with a bit of resources in. But I'm going to head down into this one. This is one that goes deep quite quick. You can get spawners, mobs, etc. The majority of it is there. We go. There's that. So, like I said, this one heads quite deep, quite quick. No, I'm not lying. The only way you can get mob spawning in here, which is quite nice, is mob spawners. Or in my case, cast earth. If I remember it still works. If it doesn't, then so be it. But I think last time I tested it, it worked. But everybody makes mistakes. And the mods are always getting updated, so you never know really. We have ourselves a ravine. I can see aluminium, iron, copper. We've got tin, more copper, iron, aluminium, sodius quartz, there and there, coal. That seems to be most of the ores. So quick sneeziness. I'm gonna repurpose this water I'm gonna create a track for it to Kind of like run down. And then eventually it will be like twisting and turning, but. Ooh, tin. That's going to be useful. And I'll place that back. Over here, and my net. As you can see, the water flows along the track. Could be worse, have a look at it. But it's decent. We also have lead now. So 
to so close to treading lava. And I don't really fancy doing that. So, walk forward. And we're just going to mine. Which is a bonus. One play thing about Tinkers is you can hold torches in your off well, in the hand to the left, depending on which tool it is, or to the right. Which most of it is always to the right. Except for if you're holding it in your first slot, which then it's actually to the left. So what I'm doing here really is I am gathering just a small amount of resources I need to progress further, such as just tin, which is an ore that I didn't have, I find a final obsidian or lava, I like lava source there but actual lava lake that would be quite beneficial as well. <laughs> so, I'm just going to do a tiny bit of caving and I will join you guys back when I find something that will be useful or wait a sec do you hear that? That's a spider. That's that's a spider spawner. It's either below us or above us. That's below us. Ooh, never mind. I'm gonna stay in the call. Well, not call. Recording. He hasn't taken down on finding the sound is getting louder. <gasps> we found it. We have found a spider spawner. Lucky that I've just found this cave. So I'm gonna quickly. Ooh! That even looks like a blue deeper. So this is gonna be a bonus. Because that means I can start work on other projects as well. Just for quickness. I'm just gonna kill a few of these and hope for the best but knowing that I've now found a spider spawner that unlocks so much more potential so quickly line up the spawner what do we have in here never quartz wheat an ender lily another bucket too dark steel. Quite impressive, really. And I did not expect that. But if you can see on the map as well, whoop, yeah, still a bit buggy. Just northwest of us, right, we can see wood. That's an abandoned mine shaft. This is coming quite nice. So, for quickness. and mark it and we'll move on so I'm gonna quickly jump ahead into the future and if I find anything more useful I'll bring you along for the ride see you guys in about 10 well God knows how long it's gonna be for me for you 
guys, it's going to be seconds. So, in three, two, one. Be back in a second. I press Control X. Okay, apparently it didn't stop recording. That's a bonus. I need to invest in a second monitor. Well, that was um, a bit anticlimactic. I literally just stopped recording there. I've come down. There's a lava lake. Which is one of the things I need to gather. Main reason being. I have a big arm and place it back down. There. This torch here and place cobble, cobble, cobble. I can now, since I've got vein mine in the pack and I've linked it to obsidian, I can vein mine obsidian. Allowing me to get big amount of obsidian in a small amount of time and apparently my water glitched so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to create mining obsidian that's the best because since I'm block 11, I could have a chance of finding diamonds, for example. Which would be quite useful. Ooh, here we go. We got more ores. We have silver, by the looks of things. And more lead. And up here we have more silver. All very useful. Oh, we got ferris. Which is nickel. No name for nickel. And over here, it looks like it loops around a bit more. Ooh. This is where it gets a bit dangerous. Because there could be lava under any one of these blocks. And if there is, hopefully the water gets to it quickly, quick enough. No, we don't have a problem. But for now, I think we're okay. We're gonna quickly swim up around. I'm gonna quickly place a torch. And one of the things this is it. We've got to tie a bit more aluminium. And my inventory is almost full. So I'm gonna quickly just keep, we're just going to keep on exploring until my inventory is full. So, this video might be a little bit longer than normal. As, yeah, I want to speak a bit about my channel. And where I hope to go with it. Which is going to be a bit random, but, yeah. Really, I don't have a lot of plans for the YouTube channel. I will be keeping videos uploaded and carrying on but 
what I want to do is I want to hear your suggestions on what you guys would like to see built and what kind of like scale you'd like to see so for example the easiest way to put it is going from seeing like the simplest structures to the most complex ones that I can build stuff on like that so if you guys have any suggestions please I'm always willing to hear them apparently inventory fills so for quickness let's have a look iron chest plate I need that desperately the other stuff can wait and yeah so we got coal gold or coal hmm well of course I'm gonna just quickly repair my pick but thinking about it I can get rid of the two limestone because I don't need limestone and for example I don't need the excess cobble I try to see useless of it for me. The wheat I can use as food if I had a crafting table. Thinking about it. And actually, while I am here, I'm going to quickly clean that up. I can't use the wheat, but I know what I can use. Getting rid of almost all my cobble because then that boosts me up by a few more inventory slots so quickly mine the silver and let's move on now as you can see tin ore there is multiple ore there we go so we got gold silver lead iron, copper, tin and tin. The two tins, as you can see here from two different mod packs, the mods are just clashing. It doesn't bother me. It just means I actually have a chance of getting multiple ores in one vein, depending on the like size of the vein. And by vein, I mean how many ores there are per section. So for that one, there was only two. And with others, you can get six, eight, ten, twelve, 